Hello, hello, dear friends of the channel. This is Alexius Vidalius speaking. On this occasion, I bring you a different episode in the Unicycling Buenos Aires series, where I'd like to tell you some interesting and not so known facts about the capital of Argentina, touring it with Draco, my faithful unicycle. So, without further ado, let's check out some of these curiosities together. Eighty of the 4,780 vaults of the Recoleta Cemetery were declared a national monument. The cemetery is the most visited place by tourists in Buenos Aires. Havana building is not only the tallest concrete structure in Latin America, but it was also declared a World Heritage Site of Modern Architecture by UNESCO. This distinction exempts residents from paying municipal taxes. The arches in some of the arcades of Alem and Paseo Colón avenues were built by order of the Viceroy Sobremonte at the beginning of the 19th century to match the style of the arcades of the Plaza Mayor and the Cabildo. Until shortly before the May Revolution or Revolución de Mayo, the Plaza de Mayo hosted bullfights. The Pyramid of May or Pirámide de Mayo, inaugurated in 1811, is the first monument of the city. The flower bed that surrounds the Pyramid of May contains soil from all of the Argentine provinces. The palm trees of the Plaza de Mayo are originally from the Canary Islands and were brought from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. The Buenos Aires subway was the first in South America, inaugurated in 1913. Its route linked the Plaza de Mayo with the National Congress, today known as Line A. Many years ago, the land next to the cathedral was used as a cemetery. When the cemetery was removed and the space was left as a vacant lot, the neighbors claimed to live weird or extrasensory experiences. The place was then called Hole of the Souls. The first Colón Theater was built next to the cathedral, in the place occupied at present time by the Banco Nación building on top of the whole of the souls. The mausoleum of General Manuel Belgrano rests at the entrance to the Santo Domingo convent and not under the crypt of the national flag monument in the city of Rosario, as is common belief. In the neighborhood of San Telmo, you can find the house with the narrowest facade in the city. It is the minimum house, or casa minima, only 2.5 meters wide. Its construction dates from the early 19th century and is located in Pasaje San Lorenzo 380. These houses were typical of southern Buenos Aires and used to be the home of slaves. 
The Minimum House is the only one of its kind that is still standing. The Montserrat neighborhood is the oldest in Buenos Aires. The Two Congresses Square, or Plaza de los Dos Congresos, houses the monolith of kilometer zero of the national routes that depart from Buenos Aires. The Rodolfo Rivarola passage has been called the mirror street, that is, the facades of the houses on opposite sidewalks are essentially identical. At the top of the building located in Sarmiento 1113, there is a cottage which was originally the residence of a furniture maker named Diaz. The obelisk weighs 70 tons and was erected in just 60 days. It was inaugurated in 1936 and its demolition was voted for in 1939 but the mayor of the time vetoed the ordinance. Buenos Aires is one of the five cities with the most theaters in the world. The Colón Theater is the most famous in the city and recognized as one of the best in the world for its almost perfect acoustics. The fountains located in the corner of 9 de Julio and Cordoba avenues were in the Plaza de Mayo right until 1890. And so this has been it for today. As always, I hope you liked this video and found it interesting. Cheers, and see you in the next video.